Hey Earth Signs, Taurus, Cappy Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Thank you everyone for tuning in to your tarot reading. Uh, this time we're going to be look at, looking at what's going to happen by the end of the week. So we'll see what the predictions are for what's going to go down for your Earth Signs. So it is intended for Taurus, Cappy Virgo, but if you're dealing with an Earth Sign, then this reading can be applicable for you as well. And you can certainly spy on them and see what's coming up around them. Uh, if you like this video, feel free to drop a like. You had a card for pull out. Um, feel free to subscribe to the channel and also to join membership if you like. Um, otherwise, let's get into this reading and see what's going on here. What will happen by the end of the week? Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. So... The honest truth, Earth signs, you're about to see how committed someone is to you. So by the end of the week, you're going to see someone's true colors, okay? And it's going to make you think differently about them. Let's lay out three more cards, see what else comes up here for you. There's a line drawn in the sand here. And could be someone's begging and pleading to have you, okay? They're begging and pleading for something here, Earth signs. Okay, three of swords, third party situation, we've got... Oh, the Wheel of Fortune as well. Um, okay, there's an option in love. Okay, there's a deception or a betrayal coming up here. Some of you will be deceived or you're the one doing the deceiving. Nine of Wands tells me you've got your guard up. So I feel like something about intuition. Okay, Wheel of Fortune, you've got major, major change happening in your love life by the end of the week. I feel like Three of Swords is telling me you've got a, a second or a third option in love coming up. So Earth Signs... Okay, I really feel like you're going to see the clearer picture here. Okay, there's someone coming in, could be another person, could be an ex, could be a job, a hobby. Something's going to come in between the relationship and you're finally going to see where you stand in the connection. It may shock you, it may surprise you, it may be a huge revelation, but it's something you need to see. Okay, it's something that the universe, the laws, laws of karma, your spirit guides, the energies are trying to show you now before it gets too late. Three of Wands tells me it's going to change how you think about the future. It's a red flag, okay? You're going to, I feel like there's a huge red, red flag that you're going to see, okay? Six of Pentacles has come up twice. What's going on here? Mm, what I'm leaning towards is that things are one-sided. So right now in a connection, right now, okay, in this current energy, Things are one-sided for you. They're one-sided for this person. You guys are only doing things for yourself, for your own needs, okay? Possibly being um, selfish here. This person is also being selfish. You guys are sort of doing your own thing here. Something's got to change. Something's got to give. Um, if that's not the case here, Earth signs, I feel like there's someone here, like I said, that's going to show their, show their true colors and it may have something to do with selfishness. You'll sort of realize something, you know, it's sort of going to add up like, hmm, maybe I'm doing too much for this person or, you know, they haven't done this for me or how come they've never taken me there or they never introduced me to this person. You're going to catch on to some things that might not necessarily sit well with you, okay? And it's your way of responding to what the universe is trying to show you type thing. Um, but I definitely feel like there's a line drawn in the sand of that Six of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune is telling me only you can change the situation. So you have the power to do something about it. I see a lot of you stepping away entirely from a connection or you're stepping back. You're going to let them run the show and make the effort. You've done your part. You know, you've committed to this relationship. Now, the Nine of Wands is coming up. So I reckon you're going to put up that guard. And deservingly so, especially if they've been treating you this way. You know, Earth signs, they have to put in the hard work. And if it doesn't, see you later. I don't think you're going to tolerate this behavior anymore. I really feel like Three of Swords is telling me some of you have three threes. Some of you have two people coming up in a connection. And the choice is going to be yours. So I feel like by the end of this week, you've got a huge choice to make in love. And it's a choice where you'll have to choose between your head and your heart. Or you'll have to choose between two different people. So... A lot of you are going to, you know, your heart will be telling you one thing. You love this person. You might be in a little bit of denial. You might be saying, yes, X, Y, and Z, they've done this for me. Don't exclude the bad though, right? 
and others of you are choosing between two different connections. One person does this, the other person has that, you feel this way for person A, you feel that way towards person B. It's a super confusing energy, but I feel like it's so confined into this week that it's almost like you're pressured to choose. Could it be an ultimatum? Maybe. Okay, there may be someone here who's giving you an ultimatum, like it's me or them. It's me or your job. It's me or your PlayStation games. It's me or the girls. You know, this kind of comparison and this kind of energy is what's probably what's going to drive you to see that they are maybe being more selfish and they're just trying to self-soothe themselves as you go through this current energy. So you're going to see that. And I feel like I see you reflecting back on memories going, well, hang on a minute. What about the time they did this? Or remember when they did this? Could even be a friend that points this into your direction and then suddenly the wheels are turning, right? <laughs> and you catch on and you're like, oh yeah, okay, this person does have a point. So they're trying to draw something to your attention. I don't think it's malicious. I think they're possibly just drawing it out here for you to be honest. But like I said, two threes, two sixes. We've got a seven here, number one. Okay, I feel like you do want to move forward in a situation, but you'll have to move forward with one choice or the other. It's like you're in between both. You're in between a rock and a hard place and you have to choose. Otherwise, you're not going to get ahead in this connection, um, Earth signs. So uh, Taurus, Capi, Virgo, it's very important that you listen to the cues. You pay attention to the signs, symbols and synchronicities that the universe is showing you. Um, but I feel like you will be caught up in a love triangle. Like I said, if it's not with another person, it's like something else that's coming into picture. You know, your person might complain you're working too too much or you're committed to this project or you spend too much time with your friends. I guarantee it, there is something here they're going to compare. They'll pass this comment. They'll tell you what they'll, it, it's worrying them. It's plaguing them. It's panicking them. Or you'll see it in these subtle little signs here. So pay attention, like I said, um, because I feel like there's someone here who's like desperate for your attention, but you might not be ready to give it to them. Or if things have been one-sided and it's been all about what they want, what they need, what they see, what they prize in the relationship, could be indicating that this is the way it's going to go and unless you want to commit to that you've got to be careful because it's chances are it's going to be all about them and that's not how a relationship works maybe they need a reminder that relationships are a two-way street can't be six of pentacles because it's not going to get you guys very far so um, you'd be wise to remember that during this energy but look I do hope this reading has been helpful so thank you again everyone so so much for tuning in don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'm sure I'll catch you all very very soon and also feel free to join and sign up for membership for exclusive content bonus readings and extended versions to readings as well so um, all the best lots of love and ciao for now